Well, hi there. My name is Sandy Alnock. I'm an artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And I'm going to do some colored pencil coloring today, but I also want to talk to you about creativity and how to make it contagious. And I'm using an image from Stamping Bella, and it's a cute little girl who's a scientist. And I love that, that they make images that are girls and science because a lot of girls get the impression they're not supposed to do science. That's a boy thing, but it is so not. Some parts of me wish that I had been a scientist when I was in school and that I had studied more science. Especially now that I'm trying to do a lot of study of mediums, I wish I knew more about the scientific properties of inks and paints and all sorts of things. That would really help me out right now. But anyway, this video is not about me and my love of science. It's about creativity and how contagious it is. We as paper crafters have known for a long time how relaxing and calming and de-stressing it is to color. Especially you, my followers, I'm assuming you are colorists of some sort because you are subscribed to me and you watch my videos. If you don't, you want to hit that subscribe button and make sure you get lots more videos from me. But I love to inspire other people to color and get creative and find their inner artist and express it. And for me, that is a lot about coloring. So that's why I do a lot of coloring in all different kinds of mediums. But your friends, a lot of them are only now maybe even considering the idea of being creative in their adult years. And that's because we've kind of killed that off. In school, we tend to kill off kids' creativity by the time they leave high school, a lot of them don't think they can draw anything because somebody along the line has laughed at them. And once you become an adult, you get all busy with the world and doing grown up things and trying to be an adult and learn how to be an adult. I'm not sure I've learned that lesson yet. And a lot of people just never try again. However, with the advent of all of these artist coloring books that are out there, and I'll link you at the end of this one to my artist coloring book video if you want to see that one. A lot of people are turning to creativity and coloring books to de-stress. They're starting to realize what we knew all along. We can take advantage of that. You guys who have been telling me that you're so sad that you don't have crafters in your area, you don't have people that you can do your creative things alongside of, you don't know people who do that, nobody in your town does, nobody, nobody, nobody. I beg to differ with you. There's somebody out there who would do it if they had the opportunity. You, as a crafter, can make it very easy for them. Go get a whole bunch of coloring books. Now, you can get them nowadays on Amazon, on Dick Blick. You can go to the dollar store. You can get coloring books all over the place. Make sure you get ones that would appeal to adults. Just, you know, if you're going to invite three or four friends, go get three or four coloring books. And then pick up a couple packs of color pencils. You can get those at the dollar store. They don't have to be fancy ones. They're just for coloring books. And invite the girls over, like girls from work, girls from church, girls from PTA, other moms of your kids' friends, whatever. Go find some people to invite over for like a dessert party and coloring. And tell them you're just going to do color pencil and coloring books. And they won't be intimidated if you say colored pencil and coloring books. If you tell them you're going to teach them how to use Copic markers on their first day, they're going to not come because they're going to think that's over their head. It might not be. They might take to it like a duck to water, but they also might never give a rip about it. But if you tell them you're just going to have a coloring book party, it's going to be a time to just chat with the girls, de-stress, eat some chocolate, have everybody bring a little, little plate of desserts or something, little finger foods, whatever, and you could watch a movie or listen to music or whatever while you just sit and color with them. Now you might be a Copic fanatic and you think colored pencils are a ridiculous thing to waste your time on. Well, I beg to differ with you if you're trying to encourage other people to join in and get creative and then eventually get them to get crafty with you and do cards or that sort of thing with you. You gotta woo them in and you gotta make it accessible. And for most people, if they think about colored pencils and coloring books, their mind goes back to their childhood and like, well, any kid can do that, right? It, it just seems doable to people. So if you want to do that, that's what I would recommend. 
I'm doing some stuff with my friends from church. I'm going to be pulling them in by doing Bible journaling, but we're going to do it with pencils and watercolor pencils. I'm not going to throw watercolor at them. I'm not going to throw fancy stuff at them. I'm going to start them off easy and make it really simple. And when I've told them it's just colored pencils, they went, oh, oh, I could probably do that. And so I'm going to be having some gatherings with my buddies. And I recommend that you do the same thing because creativity really is contagious. It is something you can pass on. You can pass it to your children if you are the type of person who regularly gives them things they can create with. You have to take action. You can't just assume their kids are going to do it. Now, if you give them anything remotely creative, they'll do creative things with it because kids already know what to do. They haven't yet lost the the excitement for it. They haven't been dissed yet. So make sure you don't diss them as well. Put all their art on the refrigerator and make a fuss over it and tell them how awesome they are. And that is going to go a long way to make them creative as adults. And it's one of those skills that you need to hone and you need to do it on a regular basis in order to be creative. You need to just constantly take care of that side of you and feed that side of you that is creative and feed that in your friends. You will be surprised at the reaction that your friends give you if you're the one every time they see you and every time they come over your house, they feel uplifted, they feel successful, they've created something fun, they've colored a fun page. If you get some coloring books that work with, you know, like some sort of um, mat that you can put it in, Go get some cheapo mats as well and give them a mat if they have one that's really beautiful and tell them to go frame it. They'll be so excited and they will come back next time and they'll bring friends and you'll make more friends and it's going to be awesome and you're going to have a whole big crafty group before you know it. But you have to woo them in carefully. So start with your colored pencils and I like this sharpener that I'm going to link you to in the description down below. So you might want to have a sharpener out as well and have some erasers on hand because you know you never know if people are going to need to have erasers around when they're doing their their coloring but here is my finished little piece with this cute little stamp from stamping bella and i've just layered it onto a couple layers of paper onto my card base and kept the card design really simple because i spent some good time on the coloring and made it all cute and on the inside of it i've stamped the sentiment from the set and that was the actual inspiration for this video. Creativity is contagious, pass it on. It's attributed to Albert Einstein. I hope that's correct. So here's a couple other videos if you wanna see those. On the right-hand side is the one about coloring books. If you wanna get more information on artist and adult coloring books, that one is a crazy popular video right now, apparently, by the number of views that it has. You can also hit the subscribe button to get more videos from me, and you can go over to my blog to get more information as well. I will talk to you guys later. Let me know if you have one of these parties and how it goes. Talk to you later. Bye.